Welcome to, This Cruel World. In this video, we will continue to follow the case of Hei Min Lee and the new revelations of the overturned conviction of Adnan Masood Syed. For those who are unfamiliar with this case, please consider watching the other video linked below where we talked about Hei's murder that took place in 1999. But briefly, Hay was a senior who was attending the magnet program at Woodlawn High School in Baltimore, Maryland. She was an honor student and the eldest daughter to a Korean immigrant family. She was last seen leaving school and was found murdered and buried in Leakin Park nearly a month later. Adnan Syed was also an honor student, played football, and ran track. He was the son of a Pakistani family and was a popular senior who also attended the magnet program at Woodlawn High School. Adnan and Hay dated during high school but during the time of her murder, they had recently broken up and moved on with new relationships. Adnan was convicted of Hay's murder in 2000 and received a life sentence. However, his conviction was overturned on September 19, 2022 after serving 23 years in prison. Despite being released, prosecutors have stated the overturned conviction was not a declaration of his innocence. Prosecutors are also waiting for results of recent DNA testing that would determine whether or not Adnan would get a new trial. In this video, we will look at the different reasons that could have changed the whole outcome of the original trial. These reasons could have shined a light on other potential suspects and would have put the real murderer in prison. At this point in time, although Adnan is out of prison with his conviction overturned, he may or may not be the actual person that murdered Hay. However, should the prosecutors decide to retry him, he would have a fair trial to prove his case. Before we dive deeper into the reasons why Adnan may have been wrongly convicted, we first must step back and realize that through all of this, Hei Min Lee was still a young girl that had her life cut short, and what her family must be going through. There was a life lost that was full of potential. Getting justice for Hay and her family by uncovering and finding the murderer is the main objective of this tragic case. Here are the reasons why Adnan Syed may have been wrongly convicted. Reason number one. The main reason that Adnan had his conviction vacated in September 2022 was the exclusion of exculpatory evidence. Prosecutors had information that someone else had actually threatened to kill Hay before she was murdered. Prosecutors hid this crucial piece of information from the defense during the original trial, which resulted in the Brady violation. In addition, there was more evidence that was not made available during the original trial that suggested two alternative suspects that could have committed the murder. Unfortunately, the identities of these suspects have not yet been released during the making of this video. Reason number two. Since the conviction of Adnan Syed for the murder of Hei Min Lee, one of the lead homicide detectives on the case, Bill Ritz, had a few cases he had worked on overturned. According to Adnan Syed Wiki.com, there were three cases that Ritz worked on that had the conviction overturned and the accused were exonerated after spending 10 years, 17 years, and 19 years in prison. In one of the cases, Detective Ritz withheld an interview in which a man actually confessed to the murder and in another case, he acknowledged withholding the reading of Miranda warnings during an interrogation. During Adnan's case, it was obvious from the beginning that detectives had already determined that Adnan was the murderer. Instead of searching and investigating into multiple possible suspects, 
they had their eyes set on Adnan. They worked backwards from Jay Wilde's story to fit the cell phone data's narrative. Detective Ritz, along with another homicide detective, Greg McGillivary, interviewed Jay on multiple occasions to change and shape their stories. One of such blatant examples of them changing the story to fit the prosecution's narrative was the location Jay said he first saw Hay's body in the trunk. Jay initially stated he saw Hay's body on Edmondson Avenue, but then later changed it to Best Buy because Edmondson Avenue did not match with the cell phone data. Another example was when Jay got the call from Adnan asking him to pick him up after the murder. Jay initially said he received the call while at Jen's house, however, later he changed his story that he received Adnan's call while driving home. The story was later changed again that he received the call while turning off Jeff Street. There were many more instances where Jay had changed his story after talking with Detective Ritz and MacGillivary. Reason number three. A key piece of evidence was withheld by the prosecutors. They did not disclose the AT&T fax cover sheet that clearly stated, Outgoing calls only are reliable for location status and that any incoming calls will not be considered reliable information for location. This was the bombshell evidence that could shred the whole prosecution's case against Adnan. As the defense was not provided with this information, Adnan was convicted of murdering Hay based on Jay's witness account that he helped Adnan buried her body in Leakin Park around 7 p.m. The prosecution used cell phone records of two incoming calls at 7.09 p.m. and another at 7.16 p.m. to place Adnan at Leakin Park, as testified by Jay. This fax cover sheet was also never provided to the engineer that testified for the prosecution. In light of this new evidence, the original engineer rescinded his testimony from the original trial and would not have testified had he known about this fax cover sheet. Reason number four. The fact that Adnan's DNA was not found anywhere on Hay's body, anywhere in her car where the murder took place, or on any object surrounding her body where she was buried. Adnan's DNA was also not found when Hay's fingernail clipping was finally allowed to be tested. Hay's fingernail clipping was an obvious item that needed to be tested but never was during the original trial. In addition, there were no eyewitnesses that saw Adnan with Hay or Adnan getting into Hay's car. There was also no video or any physical evidence linking Adnan to Hay's murder. Reason number five. The mishandling of a key witness by Adnan's defense attorney, Christina Gutierrez. Asia McLean, who knew Adnan through mutual friends, could provide the alibi that Adnan needed during his trial. Asia remembered being with Adnan during the exact time the prosecution said Adnan murdered Hay. She saw him in the library and had a 20-minute conversation with him about his relationship with Hay. ...claimed to testify during the new hearing, McLean maintaining she was with Syed at the time prosecutors contend he killed Lee. I was sitting in the library bored to tears and someone walked in that I knew. I asked him um, about his breakup with Hay. She was dating someone else, but that he just wanted her to be happy. Uh, he didn't seem to be uh, disturbed or angry with her. Another reason for Adnan's murder conviction being overturned on September 19, 2022 was that Gutierrez, Adnan's lawyer during the first and second trial, was found to have provided ineffective counsel. Asia had written a letter to Adnan saying she remembered talking to him in the library after school between 2.20 p.m. to 2.40 p.m. 
Adnan gave that letter to Gutierrez and instead of reaching out to Asia, she dismissed it and never included Asia's testimony in the trial. Soon after Adnan's trial ended in 2000, Gutierrez was disbarred by consent on May 24, 2001. Reason number 6 During the 1990s, Baltimore was struggling badly with crime. While everywhere else in the country had a drop in crime rate, Baltimore had around 49 homicides per 100,000 compared to 7 homicides per 100,000 around the country. In 1999, Baltimore had around 300 homicides alone, prompting public officials to make tackling crime the number one priority on the agenda. According to Detective Massey, as seen on an interview on the HBO series, The Case Against Adnan Syed. Prosecutors were looking for 51% arrest rate and 100% conviction rate. He stated because of that, the Baltimore Police Department was known to have the ability to clear cases. That statement clearly showed the mentality of the Maryland prosecutors was primarily focused on convictions, no matter the cost. Please subscribe and like this video. We will continue to monitor this case and will post updates as it develops.